Welcome to our deep dive into the historical practice of naval impressment, a contentious method of conscription that played a pivotal role in maritime history, particularly for the Royal Navy. Today, we aim to unravel the complexities of impressment, exploring its origins, legal underpinnings, societal impacts, and the eventual cessation of this practice. This exploration will not only shed light on the mechanics of impressment, but also its profound implications on international relations, maritime law, and individual liberties during the age of sail. Impressment, colloquially known as the press or the press gang, was the forced conscription of men into naval service, a practice most notably utilized by the British Royal Navy. This method, reliant on intimidation and physical coercion, was legally sanctioned as early as the reign of Edward I of England, reaching its zenith during the 18th and early 19th centuries. Impressment was primarily a Royal Navy practice, reflecting its massive manpower demands to maintain naval dominance. The legal basis for impressment can be traced back to various Acts of Parliament, with the first significant legislation enacted during Queen Elizabeth's reign in 1563. Despite its legal standing, impressment was met with widespread criticism and opposition, viewed by many as contrary to the principles of the British Constitution. The public's disdain for the practice, coupled with the court's repeated upholding of its legality, underscores the complex interplay between national security needs and individual rights. Eligible men, typically those of seafaring habits aged between 18 and 55, were the primary targets of impressment. However, the Royal Navy occasionally impressed non-seamen, though this was rare. The process was notoriously indiscriminate, leading to tensions, notably with the American colonies, contributing to the grievances that fueled the Revolutionary War and later the War of 1812. The practice of impressment, especially its application to American seamen, strained Anglo-American relations, culminating in the War of 1812. The end of the Napoleonic Wars and the defeat of Napoleon in 1815 marked a turning point, with Britain formally ending the practice of impressment. By the time of the Crimean War in 1853, the Royal Navy had transitioned to a system of voluntary enlistment, rendering impressment obsolete. Impressment as a historical phenomenon offers a window into the complexities of naval warfare, manpower management, and the balance between state needs and individual freedoms. Its legacy is a testament to the evolution of military conscription practices and the enduring impact of maritime policies on international relations and national identities. As we reflect on the intricacies of impressment, it's crucial to recognize its role in shaping the course of history, the development of naval traditions and the pursuit of justice and liberty on the high seas. Thank you for joining us on this comprehensive exploration of naval impressment. We hope this discussion has provided you with a deeper understanding of its historical significance and the myriad ways it influenced global maritime practices and international law.